How was she in those moments? Yeah, she's got the worst case of diabetes I've ever seen, and she really doesn't <laughs> react in a big way to this. I mean, she just kind of sits there and listens. It's like it doesn't affect her. The biggest reaction I saw, honestly, Chris, was yesterday when April Raymond was on the stand, because if you take kind of an inventory of her friends, April Raymond is the most normal of all who called her out and said, hey, I'm not joining your group. I'm not leaving my kids. That was when I saw her look the most uncomfortable, not when the lies are being exposed or anything like that. It's when people are on the stand. And it, it, yesterday it was April Raymond. Mm. You know, uh, let's flip the analysis here. I'll start with you, Omara, um, even though the prosecution is obviously making its case in chief. She seems to me to be portraying herself like someone who's on the stand for securities fraud. Um, and there's stories being told of how everything they did was nefarious and not just the course of business. But is there a fundamental missing ingredient here from a mother whose kids were murdered? Then that is an, you know, that is a, an immutable fact. Yeah, I mean, let's presume for a moment that she is guilty and sees a narcissist or a sociopath. Here's the tell that sociopaths have. They don't know how to emote the way we think normal people emote, right? You start putting any evidence on about the death of a child and any mom, anywhere along the spectrum, other than that far end where your hardware is sociopathic, then you would react. And what has been noticed, and Gigi mentioned it very well, is that there really wasn't that type of reaction any of us would think from a mom. Rather, she only reacted or got a little bit hyper or, or hypersensitive to it when we're talking about things unrelated to the children. So without question, that's got to be coming across to the jury, who, as you know, laser focused on her and her reactions or non-reactions. Uh, Garagos keeps making a point that her team better pick up on at some point, which is she needs to collapse and be unable to continue at some point. Otherwise, I don't know how they expect a jury to think this makes sense, that a mother can comport herself this way with these kinds of allegations. Uh, last word to you, Dave Ehrenberg. In terms of what they're bringing out here, it uh, doesn't, doesn't uh, depend on this case specifically, but, boy, when that guy on the stand today said that Chad, the cult guy that got Lori Vallow into the crazy uh, ideas, uh, told him that my wife's time is almost up, she won't live to be 50, and then Lori and I have to do what we committed to God to do. I mean, that's a special brand of crazy talk that the jury's hearing, right? Sure is. Although, uh, from what I gather, the testimony could actually perhaps help the defense because Lori, in that testimony, said, no, Chad, no. So they'll try to use that. Hey, thank you for watching. Please go to newsnationnow.com, newsnationnow.com, and you can find News Nation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button down below. Then you will get more of News Nation's fact-driven coverage.